I'm in schools every day. I, I, I start my day in a school uh, because I want to see how kids are learning. And what I do see is uh, a need for space, a need for updating of facilities. We have schools that are 50 years old and great schools, but we need to update them now. It's time. Everett Public Schools serves over 20,000 students who speak over 86 languages. We have four high schools, five middle schools, 18 elementary schools, and our district is growing. As we grow, we remain committed to our vision of success for each student. To meet this commitment, we're building for the future. What does that mean? Increasing safety and security across the district so students come to school confident they're learning in a secure environment. Providing our students with facilities and tools they need for STEM careers. Providing students with room to learn in 21st century buildings, supporting the kind of education students need today. And providing equitable access to high quality facilities across the district. On April 28, 2020, Everett Public Schools will ask the community to consider a capital bond funding these efforts while reducing the overall school district tax rate. Why is the bond so important? Capital bonds are really the only way that we have to fund major construction projects for public schools in our state. It is the only way that we can get the monies that we need to keep our roofs in good shape, our heating and cooling systems working, and our flooring replaced, but also to build permanent space for the growth that we're experiencing. What's on the bond? This bond focuses on STEM, safety, equity, and space. With so many STEM and technical industries right in our backyard, Everett Public Schools is offering courses that prepare students for jobs in those fields. Today there are a lot more opportunities, but with those opportunities there's a need for this whole new set of skills and that's where STEM comes in. The STEM skills that we need to provide our kids for not only today's jobs, but for tomorrow's jobs are absolutely essential. I want to be, when I get older, a mechanical engineer. I am going to take a class next year for it. The class I'm going to take next year is a three period class and it includes math and English and another period for uh, manufacturing. We've developed six career pathways that we're working on in partnership with our community. And some of those pathways can be implemented in any of our high schools, but some of those pathways have specific facilities requirements. There is also a mismatch between the innovative courses offered and facilities they're taught in, many of which do not support the type of learning happening in schools today. Our advanced manufacturing program is in our auto shop. That's hard because it's not an auto class, it's advanced manufacturing. We got new physics equipment this year, so that's good, but the space that we're using it in is pretty run down. The ceiling tiles are all stained, some are falling out. No matter which school in the district a student attends, that student should have the same access to modern facilities and the opportunities afforded by 21st century learning spaces. You have to look at other schools in the district that don't have the things that Tambark Creek has and the schools need upgrading all the time. The aging buildings at Everett Public Schools cannot support both the increased number of students the district has and small group learning, which is how students are taught today. Without designated breakout spaces, teachers make use of whatever space they can find and students have to battle distractions while learning. So here is a makeshift, makeshift breakout area, if you will, or flex space. Um, in what amounts to a storage closet. It's just such an old building that it's, it's constant maintenance on plumbing, toilets, in the bathroom. The heat is always going out. It's hot in one area, it's cool in another. The infrastructure of the buildings themselves are wearing out. Jackson Elementary School is 70 years old. The other two elementary schools are around the same age, maybe 68 to 70 years old, and um, they're just worn out. As a community and district, it is our duty and obligation and responsibility to afford every opportunity for all students to be successful, whatever it looks like. The aging school buildings in Everett Public Schools were not built to meet today's safety standards. This is a very difficult situation to try and make safe uh, because a parent or a 
any visitor can get buzzed into the building, then they, they don't have to go into the office. They can go anywhere they want. In a, in a building such as this, it wasn't built to meet today's stringent uh, seismic codes. The bond will add 58 new classrooms, the rough equivalent of two new elementary schools, replace Madison, Jackson, and Lowell Elementary Schools, modernize Cascade High School's science building, and expand space to better support aerospace and advanced manufacturing career pathway. Modernize Everett High School's cafeteria in surrounding classrooms and vocational buildings so there's space to support the medical and health career pathway. Upgrade classrooms at Jackson High School, including classrooms to better support the information and communications technology career pathway. Upgrade the HVAC, roofing and flooring. Improve safety and security at each school. Upgrade technology infrastructure across the district and more. How are the bond projects selected? A community-based facilities advisory committee met for over eight months. I think about two-thirds of that committee was from the community and then we had about one-third staff. And the committee actually produced the recommendation that became um, the board-approved bond proposal. The committee decided that the high school would not be on the current bond package. One high school was, had low in numbers and Jackson High School was higher in numbers. So when they made that adjustment to the boundaries, they found that we wouldn't actually need a high school for quite some years. The recent high school boundary change relieved pressure for the time being by moving some enrollment from the south end of the district to the north end. What will the capital bond cost? If approved April 28, 2020, the new school district tax rate would decrease from $4.87 to $4.78 for $1,000 of home value. Anytime you have uh, student success and student achievement, that makes your community better, brings pride to your community, brings economic value to our community, okay? We want our students to not only graduate here, but to come back here and be great citizens. Want to learn more about the Everett Public Schools Building the Future Capital Bond 2020? Visit everettsd.org slash bond2020. And remember to vote by April 28, 2020.